Good morning. I want to do a follow on video from the one yesterday with regard to this realization about the 30 ballpark figure 30 sets of medical notes, the bundles as they call them. The idea I discussed in the last video is that it wasn't it miraculous that Dewey Evans had the ability to discount so easily these sets of bundles, these cases of crashes and deaths that the doctors had been concerned about. How was he able to do that? And wasn't it convenient that what he was left with were all the cases in which Lucy Letby was there? Which then, when Dewey Evans, as he says in Talk TV video, <coughs> he says, he suggested having a look at the rotors and just see what you find out, you know. And what they find out is a, there's an X by Lucy Letby's name all the way through. But he doesn't know her, he doesn't, never heard of her before, apparently. We'll, we'll get on to that in a minute. So the other option is that I, I'm totally indebted to my dearest friend for telling me about this, or suggesting it last night on the phone when I was, when I was telling her about this realisation, about, about how, how the cases were selected. Detectives had nothing to do with it, obviously. The other option is that my friend suggested, and I absolutely think this is quite possible as well, is that they deliberately, this, this is the consultants now, who chose the cases that to be looked at, they chose the span of what was to be looked at, they chose and limited the ambit of the investigation. More about that in a minute. And the, but they, what they did was, in that 30, 31, whatever it was, sets of bundles that they sent, they deliberately put in cases which could be easily discounted. They deliberately, to make it look as though there's some kind of impartiality here. Because they, because the consultants already knew all the ones that they suspected Lucy Letby of being involved in. And Lucy Letby had already been moved out of the ward. She'd been, you know, she was more than a suspect to them. She, she was the accused and she was guilty already. She'd been moved out of the ward. She'd been stopped from doing her nursing, essentially, before the police were involved. She's she's out of the ward. She's suspended effectively from doing any any hands-on nursing with babies at that point. So the the accusers have already got their accused. And the accusers are the gang of four essentially in the hospital. So the idea now is that they they threw in a bunch of cases that Dewey Evans could easily discount to make it look as though everyone's being fair. But they knew that he would be able to reduce them down to what is as. Dewey Evans says in the Talk TV interview, the 15 babies, that he was concerned that there was deliberate harm there, or he was saying there was deliberate harm, sometimes causing death, sometimes causing a collapse. So what do we have here? We have a situation in which the police aren't doing any investigating whatsoever. They're not running the case. The consultants are running the case. The consultants have been looking into the case for the best part of two years and they've decided who's guilty already and that person's been moved out into an admin role. The consultants are deciding the scope, the span, the limit of what can be looked at. And the police, as they say in their, they, in a sort of a embarrassingly bashful way, they go, oh, well, you know, we're, 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 not, we're not doctors. We haven't, uh, we didn't know anything about the medical terms. We've got to rely on the experts. We don't know what these things mean. They stood back and allowed the consultants to run the show, actually, and then, and then Dewey Evans delivers. What should have happened, obviously, is that the police should be... Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. The consultants shouldn't be choosing which cases to send because they are, if not suspects, they're witnesses in this case. They're witnesses to what's been happening, to alleged to the alleged harm that's been happening in the hospital. They're not the ones who run the show. The police should be asking for the whole lot, all, all the crashes and all the deaths over the period in question. And then you let some other Im genuinely impartial expert look at everything. But it's already, it's, a, it's already been cherry picked by the consultants with all the cases that they know they already suspect Lucy Letby in. So where's, where's, where's the input from the police there? Nothing. They're, they're just the useful idiots. They are the useful idiots in this situation that allowed, that allowed the consultants to construct the case against Lucy, Lucy Letby, to design it like that. And then the other part of this horrible shit sandwich is Evans, of course, because when, when all the notes get to him 
And I believe he knew Lucy Letby's name before the police ever, before he says he ever got involved with the police. I believe that. But I'll leave that for another video. But he certainly knew it all through the writing of his reports, didn't he? Even though on the talk TV interview, he seems to suggest very clearly to me that he didn't know her name. Well, he literally said, I didn't know the name Lucy Letby at this time. Didn't know it. Didn't know it. Uh, and he, he, it's his idea, apparently, to, to say to the hospital to have a look at the rotors. Again, he's doing all the detective work, isn't he? The te what are they? Have a look at the rotors and see who's on, who's on duty for the cases that I've chosen. I've further cherry-picked from the 30 that I was, I was given by the consultants who'd done the cherry-picking in the first place. Right? Have a, have a look at the rotors and see who you come up with. Oh, is it? Oh, Lucy Letby. Oh, is that who it is? He, he goes... Is that who it is? I, I've never heard of her name before. I didn't know. He's been looking at documents. Thousands of pieces of paper with her name on it. And you could say, oh, well, was the names redacted? Well, really? Were they redacted when he says they were in such a shabby state? When the police say, when they got them before they send them on to Dewey Evans, they, they were like somebody had thrown up a lot of bits of paper in the air and they'd landed on the floor? Thousands of bits of paper, all out of order. Dewey Evans in the talk TV interview says they're out of order, out of date order, they're upside down. I, I, to, to make sense of them, I had to print them out. And that's interesting. He said he had to print them out. And he says in that talk TV interview, I received them electronically. And in the Hummingbird Cheshire Police video, I'll link it again down below, they... The detective, the female detective in it, in the first 10 minutes, she does this gesture like throwing something up in the air, talking about the notes. <coughs> it was like, she says, like somebody had thrown them all up in the air and they'd landed. In other words, they were in a parlous state. They were in a, a state of disorder and, and, and the police were confused about what the hell are we going to do with all this? So what does that suggest, throwing all them up in the air? Doesn't suggest, uh, doesn't suggest electronic copies suggest physical copies. So something must have happened at the police station for them to then scan all those physical copies in and then send them as electronic copies to Dewey Evans. So according to the police, you've got this basket case of these huge amounts of notes, all out of, out of order and very shabbily presented, all being sent to the police in these massive bundles that they then send on and that they must do it electronically because Dewey Evans says... Um, he received them electronically and then he had to print them out again to even make sense of them after that. Why I believe Dewey Evans knew the name, knew Lucy Letby's name before, before May 2017 when he says he got involved, you know, that's for another video because working on that idea as, as, as a theories about the idea about what why he and we're looking for some hard evidence because that that would be amazing to achieve that actually in terms of his obviously corrupt corrupt uh, role in this whole thing just to clarify <coughs> sorry just to clarify the point of this is is that the detectives didn't run that investigation at all the consultants decided on the scope of what was going to be looked at Completely wrongly, because they should have been treated as, treated as witnesses. They should have had no... But you see, they've, they'd, they'd already made their mind up before. They've, they've been doing it for almost two years. They know the cases they wanted to send across for validation of their, their, their opinion. Then Dewey Evans, with his animus against management, he knows the consultants are up against it and haven't been listened to for a long time. He'll know that. And he's coming in then to rat ratify to ratify their choices bit I wanted to say was <coughs> in the Hummingbird Cheshire Police video Hughes the, the lead detective heading up the case makes this big show at the beginning where he says well um, as soon as we got there we had a name he said it's, it's common knowledge we had a name and uh, we knew she was off the ward she was doing admin work right I she's kind of in a safe position so that's he, she already knew he they already knew who the accused were who, who's the accused it's the consultants what do the consultants do? Cherry pick the cases to send to Evans, who further cherry picks them. So the police, Hughes, makes this big thing about, oh, well, we didn't arrest her straight away because we didn't want to 
fall foul of this idea of having tunnel vision that other police forces have done of beating in on one person at the exclusion of others. In other words, we wanted to give the sense that it was an impartial investigation, a general investigation, which it obviously wasn't. We wanted to give the sense of it by not, not going after one person, he said, and not going after one event, he says. Right. So what he does, is, it's a fig leaf, isn't it? It's all a pretense, because what he actually does is allow the consultants to decide the range of things to look at. And all the police go, oh, well, we don't, we don't know. We're just, we're just detectives. We don't know about medical stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that to you, that bit. At the same time, the police are saying, and the reason they give for it, Hughes gives for it, he says, well, we did that in order that when the defence tries to attack you later on, if it gets to court, when the defence tries to attack you later on, you can say, well, look, we didn't do that. We didn't go after one person. We went after, we just looked at it all, completely impartial, partially treated everyone as witnesses, which they didn't, which they didn't, obviously, because how, how, come, the, how come the doctors are not in the rotors that establish, apparently, that it's only Lucy Letby on all the chosen cherry pick cases? How come the doctors aren't in there? They're treated as a special cadre above everything else that are completely above suspicion because the police know and they're told and they say and he says in the interview they had the name straight away he said and he said well why didn't I arrest her straight away well the reason why you didn't arrest her straight away is because you had nothing on her that was that and that's even before Dewey Evans receives any bundles to look at that's it that's before any bundles are produced he, he didn't arrest her because there was nothing on her there was no evidence at all so it's a complete nonsense why he even floats that idea about why he didn't arrest her at that point. It's absolute gibberish. They're damning themselves out of their own mouths now because they're relaxed, they're gloating, they're full of themselves. Both Evans and these dumbass detectives are full of themselves and they're letting all this nonsense slip. They're letting it all slip. This is the crux of the matter about how it got to a position that where it could be constructed into a case by the police that the police didn't didn't run essentially they they were the, they were the they were the gophers essentially for the consultants and then on the other side of this ghastly sandwich is it, it is evans backing up the consultants <coughs> because i believe he knew full well lucy Leppy's name he's been looking at thousands of bits of paper with her name on it he's ended up with 15 Babies, as he says, that he's concerned where there was deliberate harm, where Lucy Letby's name is all the way through it, all the way through it, the most salient name in terms of the nurses, because old Dowie Evans isn't going to be suspecting a doctor. Obviously not. Oh, no, he's not suspecting a paediatrician like he was. He's looking for nurses, and he knows the name, and he knows the name. I believe he absolutely knows the name way, way before. But if not, it, let's say even he didn't do that. He knows the name from the police, I think, that he knows there's a, sus there's, a, there's a nurse that was on that ward that was a mainstay that is now off the ward and on admin, i.e. she's safe. He said, well, you know, you can take your time now because the, the, person, the person they're concerned about is off the ward. You know, just do your reports. Do your reports, you know, that have been uh, all selected. Uh, the, the stuff you're drawing from has all been selected by other people, not by the police. There's no holistic view of it at all. Oh my God, I just, it's just incredible, isn't it? I hope, I hope I'm being clear about this, what I'm saying. I believe this is what's happened. This shows the absolute corruption, corruption of that investigation in which the police just let, let to the people doing the original accusing run it, run the ambit, limit it, cherry pick it. And you've got Evans on the other side doing it further, bringing it down further from 30 to 15. The 15 have all got Lucy attached to them. It's not happened naturally. It's a construction. It's all by design. It's by the design of the original accusers. The Gang of Four. Breary originally, and then and then Jayaram, and then probably the other two come in later. Dr B, the anonymous one. And good old Gibbs. Anyway, I'll leave it there. I hope, it, I hope, I hope I'm describing that clearly. Um, it's absolutely disgusting, all of it, all of it.